there, friends. This is Barn Man. And the Oyo 77. We are so glad that you're joining us for Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today, it's Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. A.K.A. Wednesday, Deep Winter. Yesterday, Cora, with great athletic skill and... Acrobatics made it down the castle tower, out the window, swinging from banners and flags. Fairly amazing. If you missed it, you need to go check it out. And Jem was just flying next to her. Yeah. The entire time. Cora, nice having sneaked out of her room, is now trying to sneak out of the castle. It tells us the castle is bustling with people and preparation for today's festival. The guards are on high alert. You need to sneak past them to avoid any suspicion. Right there are two guards, Ryder and Bark. Cora recognizes them. She also overhears Ryder saying, we just got orders from Captain Flint Clawthorn. Be on the lookout for Cora. She has snuck out of her room again. Okay, Elio. Cora's got two different options. Try a disguise or cause a distraction. Which would you like? Cause a distraction. Cause a distraction, all right. We're going to use our stealthy, our plus two. We roll a d20 and we add... Intellect, which is a negative one. Okay, so a plus one to this to try to create a little distraction. It has worked for you before. Bark always falls for a diversion. So you're gonna try to get the guards to look elsewhere as you move past them. What is the distraction you try to use? Send gem. So gem goes flying over flying over and then falls down, hurts a little wing. Oh, Jim! It is too much. Too much going on in order for that distraction to take place. So the guard's attention is not caught. Alright. Because of that, you're just going to have to try to sneak around them. You get to use dexterity roll, plus two, and... A stealthy, a plus four total, and it's a 12. So as Cora begins to sneak, 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 suddenly Ryder says, there she is, and rushes towards you from down the hall. Oh, she has always taken this job too seriously. Ryder leaps into the air to try to tackle you to the ground. And now we're going to find out if Ryder is able to do that. We do an attack roll for Ryder, I believe, right? 15 plus 3. Oh, actually, Cora tries to defend herself from Ryder, puts out her arms, gets a 15. Excellent. That is a, that is a hit. So now we're going to try uh, to see if the block works. We're going to do a D6. Can you, it's a three, huh? Plus defense? Um, no, because that's going to be that's going to be a defense in just a moment when when uh, Ryder tries to grab Cora. So it's not enough. It it just just was a little bit short of of Cora's arms being able to fully thrust out against Ryder. Instead, Ryder begins to close in her arms around Cora. 14 plus 2? Uh, 16 plus 2. 16. Cora is able to duck under Ryder's arms as Ryder's arms clasp just empty air. Cora tucks, rolls, and accidentally runs into the wall just a little bit. Bump! Oh, a little bump on the shoulder. And suffers one damage. Oh, I still have ten health. That is super good. That's better than the rest of them. Well, except for Quill. 
Cora goes running around the corner. Ryder, laying on the ground, sets up, looks at Cora, and says, Ugh, I'm getting too old for this. Just be careful this time, will you? And Cora walks off. Cora seems to be uh, getting out of the castle. Not too many problems. I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. We hope you'll join us. See you then. Bye. Oh, <gasps> bad. You found a bag. You almost forgot about the bag. All right, so we're going to roll a d10 and see what we get. That is the d10. Good luck. Seven. It is stout seed. Nice. So what is stout seed? We'll have to add that to our list and look up. And when we look up, oh, S-T-O-U-T, stout seed. Stout seed. Pass it. Stout seed. Consumed on use adds a D4 to constitution on a single roll. D4 to constitution. Hmm. Nice. That'll come in handy, I'm sure, at some point. All right, with that, we will see you tomorrow. Farewell.